Hello children, hope you are doing well at home. In the previous class, we have discussed about number names. Have you practiced those number names? Let's see. What is the number name of 5? Correct, F-I-V-E. Then, what about 9? Very good. N I N E. Then 10. Correct. T E N. Now, if I give the number name, are you able to write the number for those names? Let's try. How do you write E I G H T in number? Correct, it is 8. Then T W O. Very good, it is 2. What about F O U R? 4. Very good. So you know to write the number name and numbers. In today's class, we'll continue with these numbers. Look at the picture. What do you see here? Yes, in the first picture, books are not arranged. The books are just put inside the shelves. Whereas in the second picture, the books are arranged neatly. Right? Now, see the one more set of picture. Are the books are arranged? Yes, they are arranged. Then what is the difference? Yes, in the first, the books are arranged but there is no particular manner. Bigger and smaller books are kept together. Whereas in the second picture, books are arranged in a particular manner. That is from the biggest book to the smallest book. Can we arrange the numbers in particular manner? Yes, we can arrange or write the numbers in particular manner. And that is called order of number. How to write numbers in order? By counting the number forward or backward, we can write them in order. So let us see forward and backward counting. What do you mean by forward? Forward is moving front. Forward is moving front. Then backward is moving back. Backward is moving back. You might have observed when car moves, it moves forward. But when it is taking reverse, it is moving backward. So forward is moving front and backward is moving back. So now let us go for the forward counting of number. Forward counting of number is we are counting from 1 to 10. Forward counting we are counting the numbers from 1 to 10. When we count from 1 forward, we will get the number 2. From 2 count forward, you will get the number 3. From 3 again count forward, you will get the number 4. From 4 if you count forward, you will get the number 5. Similarly, when we count forward, we will get the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This forward counting you already know, right? So, let us see the backward counting. Backward counting is counting the numbers from 10 to 1. Backward counting is counting the numbers from 10 to 1. So, when we count backward from 10, we will get the number 9. From 9, count backward. 
you will get the number 8. From 8, again count backward. We will get the number 7. Similarly, when we count backward, we will get the numbers 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Now we need to practice this backward counting. Shall we practice this backward counting? Let's start. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Shall we count once again? Let's start. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 isn't it easy to learn this backward counting? You can remember this backward counting with the help of little Indian rhyme. Do you remember that rhyme? Shall we sing that rhyme? I am going to start from 10 little 9 little. Are you ready? Let's start. 10 little, 9 little, 8 little Indians, 7 little, 6 little, 5 little Indians, 4 little, 3 little, 2 little Indians, 1 little Indian boy. Now it's easy right to remember all this backward counting? Now let us solve some of the exercise related to forward and backward counting. Number the stars from 1 to 6. Here 1 to 6 do we have to count forward or backward? We have to count forward. So let's count forward from 1 and number these stars. So the first star gets the number 1. The second star gets the number 2. The third star gets the number 3. The fourth star gets the number 4. What about the next star? It gets the number 5. And the last star gets the number 6. Let's go solve one more question. Number the houses from 5 to 9. So you have to number these houses from 5 to 9. 5 to 9, do we have to count forward or backward? Yes, again we have to count forward. So count forward from 5. So first house gets the number 5. And the second house gets the number 6. Third house gets the number Seven. What about the next house? Eight. And the last house gets the number? Nine. Now, let's go to the next question. Number this chocolates from ten to six. Ten to six, shall we count forward? No, we have to count backwards. So count backward from 10 to 6 and number these chocolates. So red chocolate gets the number 10. Yellow chocolate gets the number 9. Pink chocolate gets the number 8. Blue chocolate gets the number 7. What about the last chocolate gets the number 6. Very good. One more question. 
number the fruits from 6 to 1. 6 to 1, we have to count backwards. So, count backward from 6 and number these fruits. So, apple gets the number 6. The pulpy mango gets the number 5. The orange gets the number 4. The strawberry gets the number 3. The green apple gets the number 2. And the pear gets the number 1. Let's solve one more exercise. Write the missing numbers with the help of counting. Here they have given a number train. One number is missing, right? We have to find that missing number by counting. So count the number from 3. 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. Are we counting forward or backward? We are counting forward. So count forward and let's find the missing number. 3, 4, 5. Then the missing number is 6. Very good. Let's see one more number train. Look at the numbers here. We have to count forward. So count forward and tell me which is the missing number. Correct. 5 is the missing number. One more question. Look at the number held by the baby elephant. Is it forward counting? No, it is backward counting. So count backward and let's find the missing number. 9, 8, 7. Then the missing number is? Six. Very good. One more question. Look at the numbers on balloons. We have to count backward and let's find the missing number. Six, five, four. What is the missing number? Yes, three is the missing number. Very good. In today's class, we have learned about forward and backward counting and some of the exercise related to forward and backward counting. Here is the assignment for you. Write and learn backward counting from 10 to 1. You have to write the backward counting from 10 to 1 in your notebook. How many times you will write? One time? Two times, right? Two times 10 to 1 backward counting in your notebook. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.